it's Olivia, and it's also Black History Month, so I'll be sharing with you some of the books that I plan to read in the spirit of Black History Month. And I did want to share something really fun. The design that I did of the Black Power Fist on um, Thug by Angie Thomas, I turned that into a little circle design, and I put it on Redbubble, and I'm so happy with how it looks. There's a black and white version, and there's a version with African colors, um, red, yellow, and green, and so it's up there if you want like a sticker or on a product. And I'm also really proud of the other like space design that I did. It's there. I'm not good at advertising for myself, so this is like the rare time that I'm going to do it, but thought it was fitting for the, for the theme and month. So let's get in with this video. I wanted to start out with, it's already a week into February as I film this, and so I just finished this book today, which I didn't realize until a few days ago was by two authors. I thought it was just Jason Reynolds. Sorry, Brendan Keeley. Um, but it's All American Boys, and I, like I said, I just finished this today, and I cannot decide on a rating for this one. And it's, it's very much, I'll, you know, I'll talk more about it in my wrap-up. The next book I have to talk about is Little Woman, Bold Woman, and Black History by Vashti Harrison. This is a children's book, and it, I've already flipped through the pages a bit, and it looks so cute. Like, I'm so excited to get to this. This next book I actually started reading a while ago, but I never finished it, partly because, like, the subject matter to me is very saddening and frustrating. But that is Just Mercy, A Story of Justice and Redemption by Brian Stevenson. It's a non-fiction account of this lawyer who, um seeks uh, who is like le who's like a legal advocate for those who've been falsely convicted in the justice system or have just have like overly harsh sentences you know just like all the problems with our criminal justice system oh my gosh it was like i i got like halfway through it but it was just a, i was reading it slowly because like it just hurt my heart. <laughs> this next one is an interesting one because i've read it already and that is Binti by Nettie Okorafor. Um, okay, I want to reread this because this has so much praise, but on my first time reading it, I was, I was a bit underwhelmed, and like, everyone says that they love it. I don't know, I feel, for me, I feel like this is the kind of story that wasn't, that shouldn't have been a novella, like, I feel like it should have been novel, but maybe that's why people like it, they like how short it is. I don't know, just, it wasn't, it wasn't amazing to me. And I'm wondering if I just read it at like the wrong time in my life or something because I want to give it another shot because I know it's a series and I kind of want to continue but I've forgotten already. Even this, this little bit I've already forgotten stuff in it. So I want to just give it another chance. Next is this audiobook where we're going to need more wine by Gabrielle Union. Uh, I've really been wanting to re listen to this for the longest time. I'm pretty sure she narrates it herself and I want it to be like my month long read where I read it and like listen to it in the car. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to that. The next book I want to get to is The Thing Around Your Neck by Chimamanda Adichie. Um, I have yet to read a single novel by her. I read a short story, Apollo, for a class that I took, but it was, it was just a short story. If you haven't heard of her at all, you might have heard of her. You might have literally heard her voice if you like Beyonce, you heard her in her song Flawless. But um, yeah, I would love to finally get around to reading one of her full books. The next book I want to get to, and I probably will definitely get to because it's another assigned read for my class, is Brown Girl Dreaming by Jacqueline Woodson. I know this is like an award-winning book. I believe this one is written in verse, I, if I'm correct, but I've only heard good things, and you know, that that's basically it. I've heard good things, it looks good, I'm gonna read it. Last book I have to talk about because my battery is dying, Homegoing by Yaw Jessie. I believe, I just looked that up, I believe that's how you pronounce her name. Quickly, I wanted to add I'm making it more of a point to not have the, uh, I don't know how to pronounce this author's name, when it's so lazy of me because I can just look it up on my phone, how to pronounce an author's name. So yeah, Homegoing. This one, I actually do not know what it is about. I just know that I saw it all over BookTube for a minute, um, what, a couple months ago? I don't know, I felt like everyone was just talking about it out of nowhere, and it was highly talked about too, so I want to get to this one. So that is all. I'd also like to say, like, I'm seeing, like, all the, um, like, events going on. I know Denise has her blackout for the whole year, like, read, um, only, reading only black authors for all of 2018. Um, uh, what's the, read so lit. I know there's all sorts of events going on, and it's so cool. Let me know if you're, if you're participating in anything, what books you're reading, are you interested in any of the books that I mentioned, anything. And I will see you in another video. Bye.